In this video, we're going to take a look at standard 87B, which says the student is expected to use previous knowledge of surface area to make connections to the formulas for lateral and total surface area and determine solutions for problems involving rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, and cylinders. When teaching this standard to your students, it's important to have available for them the grade eight reference material from the STAR assessment. Um, on this sheet, the formulas for surface area are provided for both a prism and a cylinder. The lateral is provided for each lateral surface area as well as the formula for the total surface area. So we want students to use and reference this sheet in class so that on the day of the STAR test, they're comfortable with this reference material sheet and know how to use it and read the formulas. Also when teaching this standard, um, students should have access to a graphing calculator just to help with the calculations of the formulas. So let's look at this released assessment item. This assessment item is from the 2016 March assessment of the 8th grade start test. A triangular prism and its dimensions are shown in the diagram. What is the lateral surface area of this triangular prism in square centimeters. So if we look at the reference material sheet, the lateral surface area for a prism is S equals capital P times H. So let's look at that formula a little more closely and identify what each variable represents. So the S is the lateral surface area of the prism. The capital P is the perimeter of the base of the prism. H is the height of the prism. And just a side note that the height is the length of the side that is perpendicular to both bases. Also important note is that prisms are named by the shape of their base. So since we're told in the problem that this is a triangular prism, we know that the base is a triangle. All right, so looking at this formula, S, or the lateral surface area, equals the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. I'm going to actually use a little bit of color coding here. So let's rewrite this. S equals the perimeter of the base times the height. We're going to go ahead and find the perimeter of the base and the height first, and then substitute those values back in to determine the lateral surface area. So for the perimeter of the base, now we know that the base is a triangle. So if we look at the prism, you see we do have triangles that are congruent in their opposite um, faces of each other. Um, so we can determine the perimeter. We have a side of five labeled, a side of six labeled. This side is not labeled, but when we look here, at the opposite base, we see that that side label is labeled as five, which means that this side here will be five. So the perimeter of the base is five plus five plus six, which is 16 centimeters. Now for the height, remember that the height is the length of the side that is perpendicular to both bases. So if we look here at our bases, we see here we have a side labeled eight centimeters that's perpendicular to the basis. So the height of the prism is eight centimeters. So now we're gonna take those values and substitute into the formula. So the lateral surface area is the perimeter of the base, which we determined to be 16 centimeters, times the height of the prism which is eight centimeters. So we just multiply 16 times eight, which is 128 centimeters squared. So the lateral surface area for this triangular prism is 128 centimeters squared.